Good morning guys. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 eBay sales I've had for 2023. This is going to consist of the price amount that I sold it for, price that I got it for, or how fast it sold. Without further ado, let's start. Number 10. So the first one right here is an M Collection Italy shoes. Now these ones I did get at a thrift store. The thrift store I think was charging I think $10 about and uh, I did sell them for 80 at a time of listing and even after listing I still don't have any comps for this brand M Collection Italy. I'm very glad to have sold it for that much. I did not expect to get that much. I thought I was gonna get like 50 ish and I'm just overall happy and sometimes you have to gamble when you're going to a new brand and with no history record and it will pay off sometimes so here it did definitely a learning experience and that's why that's my number 10 number nine so this one I had to go to worth point to get and actually got a worth point subscription because it's a handy tool sometimes and I mean I'm a full-time reseller so I'm obviously going to be using this a lot more this is a Star Wars thermos a lunchbox first edition 1977 this is why this one sold for $80 is because it was a first edition box and actually I'm I'm actually surprised there's pictures saved in here this is pretty cool as you can see the background was the Smash Bros background and that's how you can tell it was an old listing. I did sell it on May 8th. I think I got it in March I believe. I think I ended up paying like $5 for it and to, into 80 that's definitely a nice flip. Lunchboxes are something you definitely should be on the lookout for. Obviously the more vintage it is and the brand also. You never know what the stuff might be worth. <laughs> Alright this one right here unfortunately is not on worth point and I cannot click on the images for eBay miniature picture you guys can see so this is the Pokemon Conquest for Nintendo DS you can see the order earnings I'm like I got eighty six dollars and eighty five cents from this does detract from the shipping and the eBay fee so I did sell it for ninety five dollars with the shipping and everything I did get eighty six eighty five so uh, overall that's a very nice flip I believe I got this in an estate sale and in the estate sale buy it for like I want to say five dollars so overall very very happy with that flip nice game to look out for hopefully I find more in 2024 all right this is another one i had a pull worth point almost the beginning of summer i stumbled upon this chair this chair was just sitting out in the garage sale and i, I mean obviously i know wwe uh, from being a kid and watching wrestling I knew what this was i just didn't know how much he was gonna ask for it you know i was thinking he was gonna say 50 so i out of the whim i'm just like okay if it's cheap enough i'm gonna buy it he said five bucks because he wanted it gone and it ended up selling for 82.79 and then obviously there was shipping included i don't know why worth point doesn't show the shipping the only bad thing of course is it's big and bulky that is the only drawback but aside from that five to 80 that's a very very nice flip and I know the last couple ones have been 5 to 80, but we are going to be increasing that in the next one, I believe. Number six. So this one is a relatively new one. I did list it on November 24th. I am Corpse Miss You Hoodie. Now, I did find out that this is actually a YouTuber that tells scary stories and he had some merchandise out. He has not been on the YouTube channel for I don't know how long. It's been a while. But there was another reseller there that always, always, always picks clothes. But he missed this because I mean I did not recognize this and I'm sure he didn't recognize this so a lot of times there's like graphic hoodies like this that aren't worth anything so maybe he just assumed that with me I mean it looked like a very very cool design and it was highly detailed and the quality felt good so that's why I decided to look it up and I just looked up I am corpse hoodie that's all I looked up and I found it and I'm so glad I did this one sold for $114.99 I think I paid 10 to $14 I can't remember the top of my head very nice flip and this is probably one of the biggest clothing flips I've done for this year there is tons of money to be made on that and it's obviously very easy to ship it's not gonna break honestly if it was an XL I probably would have kept it because it's a very very cool design so if I find another one in XL you know I might end up keeping it number five now the top five here, these get higher dollar prices I paid are usually pretty cheap. For number five, we have the Intech GameCube portable LCD monitor screen. So obviously some GameCube stuff can be very valuable. This is one of the screens that you put on top of the console and open it so you can play on the go or play wherever or even if you don't have a TV. And it ended up working. Super tempting to keep something like this. The value was too high for me to ignore, so I decided to list it for $169.99, and it actually sold for that. So very happy with that sale. After fees and everything, I got $133.44. And this is another one where on worth point, you look it up and it's not on there. Definitely keep your eye out for those monitors because they can be worth a lot of money. Number four. And this one unfortunately doesn't have a picture and it's not on worth point but i did want to call it out because it is something to look out for cold case dvd seasons one through six now i do have a short 
and I'm gonna try to remember to put the link up above for the short. It did spend, I think, $2.99 for the DVD set and ended up selling for $110. I believe I had it listed for $129.99 and someone sent an offer for $110 and I accepted it. Would I do the buy again? Of course I would. Since this buy, I've learned so much about DVDs and what to look for. Don't sleep on media, guys. Even books can be worth a lot of money. It just depends on what it is. He's got a plug phone and scan, scan, scan. Number three. For number three is a two-parter. Both these items sold together. So we got a Lord of the Rings Hergium King Theoden sword. Did sell this sword for $129.99 and on the same order had Half Fang Sword Arwen. This sold for $119.99. So I think I believe the order was like $300 and something dollars. That's a lot of money and I did learn how to pack these very well. Kind of scary to ship two swords and they're very heavy. A little bit of a task to pack them but I'll take that any day for something like this. Definitely a learning experience from these two swords. Very happy with the profits. Number two. This Apple Macintosh 512, I believe I spent $30 for it. And I didn't want, the funny thing is, I didn't want to spend $30. I wanted to spend like $10 to $5. Because I did not know if it was going to power on. I did not know if it was going to work. I didn't know any of that. He shot me down real quick. He said, I, the least I'll take is $30. Now I know why. I did not know the values of these computers back then. Did it end up selling for $258.49 from $30. That's definitely some great profit. And I would definitely do it again. It did come with a bag. And that's why it was marked up that high. I was originally trying to get $400 because I saw some comps for just the bag alone selling for $200. Definitely vintage Apple stuff sells. You just keep an eye out for it and make sure you comp it before you're buying it, of course, because not all Mac stuff is good, but certain ones are. Now we get to my honorable mentions. So I have two honorable mentions I do want to say. And the first one right here is a PS3 Fat. This one right here is the PS3 Fat that is backwards compatible, is worth a ton of money. This one did sell for $219.99 at a garage sale. Paid $80 for this console, another PS3 Slim, a bunch of controllers and some PS2 stuff. Definitely keep your eye out for it. I mean, $219 is a huge amount for a console. I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for it and hopefully I find some more. My next honorable mention is this American Girl doll IV. Now, I did mention this many, many times, I believe, in past videos. I don't think I've ever shown it because I didn't have a Worth Point subscription. So this is the doll. Um, very meticulously looking doll. She has, like, short hair. There's not very many American Girl dolls that look like this. And this is actually the outfit she came with. So just I'm just showing you the pictures. You guys can keep an eye out for it. Um, but... Yeah, this is Ivy and she sold for $139.99. So this is one of the top tier American Girl dolls you can find. I believe I spent like $20 on her and I think I had another American Girl doll I think I got for $10. So overall, very happy and pleased with the sale. And because of this sale, I learned to look for American Girl dolls. Because prior to this, I had absolutely no idea these dolls can be worth that much money. Or if you don't know anything, you think this is like a worthless doll that's worth like five bucks. I took a risk, bought her not knowing anything and I profited from it. So that's a lot of times that's how you learn by taking a risk and going for it. The lady that sold it to me told me her name and told me she was an American Girl doll. So that helped tremendously. Having Google Lens, I would be able to find her. That's the big task with American Girl dolls is you have to identify them to know how much they're worth. Definitely a learning experience. Keep an eye out for American Girl dolls because they can be worth some serious money. Number one. And now we get to my number one. Now my number one is this Fusion Radio MS AV 750 series new open box and I did not get $489.99 unfortunately but it did sell for $350 I paid $80 for it if you remember in that video this is the best sale I have for 2023 very happy and it was a garage sale item definitely gonna keep my eye out for fusion and even loose they sell for hundreds it just depends on what model it is one thing I did learn from this is haggling can save you money so she wanted like $150 and I offered 80 and she took it so that was great haggling is definitely a nice tool to learn from and this is one of the cases where it actually worked on my end anyways guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully these items help you guys in 2024 to look out for serious profits. I just want to say as a closing note is that I've learned so much from where I started until now. Definitely a humbling experience just to see where I came from and where I'm at now for knowledge. And I hopefully I learn a ton more for 2024. And hopefully I find some serious bolos and higher end items like garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores next year to obviously make some profit. But not only that, but also to share the knowledge with you guys because I do enjoy that aspect of it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And follow my Instagram at Crimson Raider. Thanks for watching and we'll see what I find next. Thanks, guys.